Today we are transforming these Walmart cakes into the Bride of Frankenstein. This looks sick. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quali Pops. Let's get into this. Three cakes, Bride of Frankenstein, here we go. So I'm starting with a six inch chocolate cake and two 10 inch red velvet cakes. I'm using my PVC pipe system and a dummy cake to create the bottom of her face. And then I'm going to stack all of my cakes on top of each other. Now the next step is gonna be to carve. I want her to have this like Amy Winehouse updo. So I'm going to soften the sides to give this the beehive shape. I added a crumb coat which is extremely important because this entire cake is going to be covered in buttercream. Lovely, lovely buttercream. The three colors I'm going to be using are black, white, and uh, olive green with a little bit of like turquoise in it. I'm starting with a color that's three shades lighter than I want because I know that's going to get darker in the fridge. I added this to the front and started to give her like a rough sculpt of her face. After that, I added black buttercream to the rest of the cake to create her hair. Then it was all about sculpting. A lot of sculpting went into creating this beautiful face. Now using sculpting tools, I started with her eyes, then I worked on her cheeks, shaped her nose, and finally created her chin. When I was happy with my sculpt, I used a makeup applier to create a smooth skin texture. And then I added a little bit more detail with some sculpting tools. Now this is a buttercream cake, but I did create some of the elements with fondant. Her eyes are made with purple fondant. I also used purple fondant to create her lips. These small details would have taken so much time if I created them with buttercream. So this cake is 95% buttercream and 5% fondant, which is all of her face. Now to create her hair, I'm piping some black buttercream waves to give it a wavy look. I'm going to work these waves all the way around the cake. And when I finished, I put this in the fridge to set up, took another makeup applier and started adding some hair texture. It's not perfect, but that's what happens when you're working with buttercream. Bride of Frankenstein has this beautiful white streak, which I created with white buttercream. And then I added the same texture that I added to the rest of her hair. When I was finished with that, it was all about the final touches. So I started with some fondant to create her eyebrows. I finished her eyes, gave her catch lights, and then a little bit of makeup with some luster dust. The last thing I'm going to add are staples so that I could give her a very stitched up look. And voila, my Bride of Frankenstein cake was complete. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so proud of this. If this was a regular cake, it would have been nice, but this is a cake transformation, so it's even better. I'm stoked about how this looks. Usually I'm recreating an animated character that already exists, but this version of the Bride of Frankenstein is all me. I just took everything that I learned from the last couple cakes and applied it here. And I'm just I'm so impressed with myself, man. It looks so good. Hey everyone, I am here again making videos. I actually never stop, but I've been focusing on a lot of home renovation stuff. We're doing the inside of the house. I just almost completed the backyard and the front yard. I also got COVID, which was terrible. And then the week after that, it led to a nasal infection. So I was on antibiotics for another week. And then I got long COVID symptoms, which I still kind of am experiencing. However, through everything that's been going on, I have been shooting videos. I just cannot get myself to edit. Every time I want to edit, I find something else that I want to do or complete in the house and they end up just doing that. And now I'm rushing all of my Halloween content because I want it to all be out by next week. So you're going to be getting, I think, four more Halloween cakes pretty soon. One more Walmart cake makeover, and two that were characters that I made early on in the year and I didn't want to waste the cake, so I transformed them into Halloween characters as well. And there's like five or six really good Walmart cake makeovers that I filmed. I have not edited and will be coming out probably sometime in November, or maybe even January because November already means Christmas. <laughs> so there's stuff coming down the pipeline. You're going to be seeing it all soon. I'm really proud of it. It turned out spectacular and it's all buttercream. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys love cake makeovers because I've got a ton of them coming your way. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Bye.